What is up, everybody? My name is Harry Rice, and boy, we've got something to talk about today. Uh, so it was just announced, uh, as I'm recording this about five minutes ago, Brennan Gallagher has been suspended by the Department of Player Safety five games for an illegal check to the head on Islanders defenseman Adam Pellick. Um, I've got some issues. How is this not 10-plus games? I get. Brennan Gallagher has no prior history. I, but I just... I. <laughs> I genuinely, I, I'm baffled. The fact that they give him solely a, an over-the-phone hearing rather than an in-person hearing. I'm genuinely surprised that this is not more. Especially when you have to look, when you look at Brennan Gallagher's history over the past five seasons. And I have them here and I'll get to that in a second. But you have to look at, and the NHLPA released a video, we're not going to look at it over... Uh, we're not going to look it over. Basically, they just go over the key points that it's an illegal check that had the hit can be avoided easily. Pellick suffers an injury. He was apparently placed on the IR today. And they basically make a point that Brennan Gallagher has no relevant history, which to me is, is bullshit. I think that there's absolutely a history there. Again, the uh, you have to look at it. Going all the way back to February... 2020 and I'm gonna go over a couple instances here and we're gonna get I'm gonna make my main point after I go over the history but basically Brendan Gallagher eats a cross check from Zidane Ochara right in the neck there's no call on the play and no suspension in the 2020 playoffs uh, Gallagher ate a cross check from Matt Niskanen right in the mouth there was a one game suspension given to Matt Niskanen in the 2020 cup finals Gallagher's head was shoved to the ice by Mikhail Sergachev and he's bloodied up on the play there was no penalty and no suspension. And in November 2021, Gallagher scores on the Flames. He gets cross-checked by Erica Branson from behind, and that causes a scrum. There's no suspension, no penalty on the play. In November 2021, Gallagher sucker punches Barclay Goudreau off a face-off. There's no fight because the refs hold back Gallagher. In November 2022, Brendan Gallagher crashes the net and, he, and gets a bit of a cross-check from OEL. He then goes after OEL and then further goes after Thasher Demko. Uh, exactly a year ago, or uh, uh, two months ago, I'm sorry, I, I'm reviewing my notes. In November 2023, Gallagher shoots a puck late after a whistle against the Red Wings that causes a scrum. And just last month, Brendan Gallagher cross-checks Jeff Skinner twice while he's down on the ice. There's no discipline and no penalty on the play. The fact that you have to look at all the way back to 2020 and 2021 to find the last time Gallagher was actually on the receiving end of something significant like this. Now, uh, there's going to be some fans being like, oh, well, Harry, it, it, five is enough. He, he, How much punishment has he gone through? I don't give a fuck. The fact that you look back the last four instances that I named, Gallagher is the instigator. Gallagher is the guy who is giving this stuff out. This is Brad Marchand levels of dirty. Cross-checking players while they're down. Shooting a puck after a whistle. Going after a goaltender. Uh, and then sucker punching somebody. You know? And the previous four times are him eat, getting something. Brendan Gallagher, if anything, should know before he initiates this contact with Adam Pellick, before he goes in for a clear elbow to the skull, he should know that just based off his prior history, the cross check from Chara, the cross check from Niskanen, his head getting shoved down by Mikhail Sergachev, he should know how fucking dangerous head hits are. He should know how dangerous these are. And he still initiates. The, 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 the elbow to the skull. And again, there's going to be Gallagher fanboys that come over here. Oh, Harry, Gallagher shouldn't have been suspended. No, he deserved this. He deserved more. The fact that the NHL is trying to actively get rid of these types of hits in the game. And all they do is give Brendan Gallagher five games. I've talked about this on the stream last night. You guys can go back and watch that if you guys want to hear about an hour and a half of discussion regarding the Brendan Gallagher hit and all that. You guys can go back and watch that. The fact that there is a five-game suspension for something that is clearly intent to injure. There's an elbow. Gallagher looks like he jumps into the hit as well. There's a charge as well. There is zero intent to play the puck on Brendan Gallagher's end. He skates right down, goes for a hit, realizes he's going to miss it, uh, which is something that the, that's the, something that the NHL Department of Player Safety video pointed out is that he was probably going to miss a hit, and he brings the fucking elbow up. Pelic ha has no vision whatsoever of Brennan Gallagher being uh, about to blindside him. 
and and Pelic has a history. He suffered a concussion. I think it was last year after taking a hit from Robert Bertuzzo. That's kind of ironic because they're now teammates. But he takes a hit from Bertuzzo and gets a concussion as a result. This is Ber this is Pelic's at least his second concussion. He just came back from I think it was a wrist injury that he had, and the fact that he's already injured again. This is a disgusting play by Brendan Gallagher, not just because of Pelic's history or his own history of receiving uh, the cross checks and, and all, all the shit that's going on with him, to now giving it out. The last five instances, Brendan Gallagher has been a pile-on for the Montreal Canadiens this year. I don't care if he has heart and he's plucky and he's good in the locker room. The, when it matters most, Brendan Gallagher is nowhere to be found on the ice. And it shows. Brennan Gallagher almost cost the Canadians the game last night. He takes the five in a major. The Islanders score twice. We were lucky to win that game in regulation. You know? And this isn't the first time that it's happened this year. Gallagher against the Red Wings. There was a game against the Red Wings. And then I forget if it was the game before or the game after. And I talked about this last night. Gallagher cross-checks the Red Wing right in the face. And that cost us that game against the Red Wings. It happened, again, either the game before or the game after. Galley took another penalty. That cost the Canadians the game. And the fact that, again, you look at his history recently, you look at the past, even the past, basically the, uh, the past two seasons, his stuff with OEL, uh, him shooting the puck late to cause a scrum, cross-checking Jeff Skinner twice, you know? You look at these instances, Gallagher should have gotten at least uh, five games when you look at the history, and then you add the actual hit, it should have been a 20-plus game suspension. If the NHL was really wanting... Uh, to get these types of hits out of the NHL, then they needed, they needed to suspend Brendan Gallagher at least 10 to 15 games, at the very least. The fact that this is only five games, William Lockwood got three games for goalie interference. Yanni Gord got two games for charging Matthias Ekholm. And those are, you could argue, hockey plays. At least with Lockwood, Flurry's out of the net, he's behind... You could sort of get why he goes for it. You can kind of get why any player goes for the goalie like that behind the net. It's not right, but you can kind of get why they do it. With Brennan Gallagher, again, this is a clear headshot. It's an elbow to the skull. It is a charge. This is a guy who has done next to nothing of note this year. The biggest thing of note he had is, what, a 23-game goalless drought? You know? Technically, the NHL is actually... Uh, not helping the Canadians by suspending him for longer because we'd probably be better with Brendan Gallagher out of the lineup for 20 plus games. You know? And again, they want to. The, the Department of Player Safety is about player safety. What about Adam Pellick's safety? What if he's out for the rest of, of the year? I don't think his career has ended because of this hit. He did thankfully get up relatively quickly after the hit. It took him a minute or two, but he did get up and, and left the game. What if he's out for the rest of the year? You're basically saying, hey, look, if you want to end a guy's season, it's going to cost you five games. Brennan Gallagher has the clear intent. It is a charge. And the NHL, what do they decide to do? Five games. Absolutely disgusting, in my opinion. The fact that the NHL does not try and get these... They say they want to get these hits out of the game. Where's the 20-plus game suspension? Brennan Gallagher is slowly turning into Rafi Torres with the type of bullshit that he's doing. This is on par with a Rafi Torres level hit. And Brennan Gallagher gets five fucking games instead of 20 plus. And it, it's, it's, I, it's sad that, oh, there's no relevant history. That shouldn't matter. A dirty hit is a dirty hit. That is what should matter in my, in my opinion. That is the only thing that should matter. Not, oh, is there a history? How small is the player? How hard does he come in? It is a dirty hit. That is what matters. A dirty hit, it's a shot to the head, and it might end up fucking ending Adam Pellick's season. The fact that he, it even takes him out for uh, probably three to four games is three or four games too many. All right? If Gallagher misses the hit, let him miss the hit. Gallagher should know in that situation, hey, look, the Canadians are up by two. I'm not going to do any bullshit like this. But he decides to turn to Brad Marchand from 2013 and fuck his team over. Honestly, like, when Gallagher comes back, I, what the fuck do you do? You can't just put him back in the lineup. You can't. You gotta fucking strip him of the A. 
If I'm the Canadians, Brennan Gallagher is not wearing a Montreal Canadiens jersey when he comes back from this. I'm looking to trade Brennan Gallagher right now. And I don't care if he's technically out three weeks because we play tomorrow against the Penguins and then it's like a week and a half break for the All-Star game. And then we're, we're back just before Super Bowl weekend. We play, I think it's one game at 7 and then it's the two back-to-back -back games at 1 p.m., which I'm going to fucking love getting up for those. The, the fact that Gallagher is basically given a, almost a, a three, four-week vacation, basically, it's, it's like... To me, I I can't see how Brennan Gallagher doesn't get booed to hell and back when he comes back to the lineup, if he even does. And April 11th, if I'm being quite honest, I don't want the Canadians to defend Brennan Gallagher. April 11th, when we're, when we're on Long Island and we're playing the Islanders, I want them to rip fucking Galley's head off. I don't care. Let Cal Clutterbuck, let Matt Martin, let them fucking, let them fight Galley. Galley. Let, them, let them cross check him from behind. All right, let them give him an elbow to the head. Let him let him see how he how he likes that. All right, I would expect better out of Brendan Gallagher again, based off his history. And the, 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 I I'm disappointed and I'm angry at Brendan Gallagher. And again, I I hope he never steps foot on the ice in a Montreal Canadiens jersey again. Gallagher, you can go fuck yourself. And quite frankly, I hope you have a career-ending injury while you're off while, while during your time off, my guy. Go spend time with your family and just fuck off from the National Hockey League. We don't need you. We don't want you here. Get fucked. So yeah, that is going to do it for this video. I was considering doing some editing and putting like the clips that I have uh, that I mentioned. I think I'll just put them in the description. I'll put a link to the NHL Department of Player Safety's um, comments on the hit. I'll put links to the char everything that I mentioned. So yeah. That is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Links in the description. Check those guys. Check those out. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Horace, and I am out. Love you guys. Adam Morio. Always remember, no matter how bad we are last year, how decent we are like this year. Go, Abs, go. Thank you guys again for watching. My name is Horace, again, and I am out. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Love you guys. See you guys. Bye, guys. Bye.